welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, yes I know, but I'm back. So, today we're starting off with a bang. We're starting off with a £100,000 BMW X5. And uh, it's not just a highly spec standard X5. This is the X5 M competition. And what a bloody car this is. 4.4 V8, 616 horsepower I believe, 0 to 60 very, very quickly. Uh, this car itself is £113,000. Uh, bonkers, bonkers money. Finished in carbon black, Silverstone leather. Let's give it some beans. Right. That noise, that car, this car is just immense. Absolutely immense. Um, right, £113,000, um, finished in carbon black, silverstone interior. I love this car on this leather. I always have been a big, big fan of it. A uh, couple of options on this car. It's got the standard option wheels, the 21 22s at the back. Um, piano black finish interior, and it's got a comfort back. Uh, so massage seats, rear heated seats, front cooling seats. Um, missing a sunroof though. For £113,000, you would have thought it would have had a sunroof on it, but it doesn't. The Skylight sunroof is a £2,500 option, which this car doesn't have. Stupid. Very stupid. For that much money, I expect it's standard. Um, but nonetheless, let's talk about this car. Now, Super SUVs. Lamborghini Urus, G63, Bentley Bentayga maybe? And then you got kind of the next level down, the, the early £100,000 mark. So you got the Audi RSQ8, um, Porsche Cayenne Turbo, BMW X5, now the GLE 63. All these huge SUVs, big engines, big V8s. And I tell you something, this is probably right up there with the best of them. The handling on this car is immense. The power, it's probably too much power for the UK roads. I'm not going to deny that. Um, we have a lot of stupid average speed roads. Uh, the M4 being one of them at the moment. Can't put the power down. Cannot put the power down. And if you do, you get to 70 so quickly, you either run out of fuel or you're going to get three points on your license. Actually, you probably get more than that. So, I, I, I don't think I've got... I've, well, I do have a bad word to say about it. The price, it's a great second-hand buy. Uh, but then again, most people in the UK will uh, finance their car. So, I don't know, what is it? £1,000 a month? £900 a month? Depending if you go to the right dealer to give you the right deal. Partridge BMW will give you the right deal. I can assure you of that. Um, but it's, it's an X5. It's a fantastic-looking car. It handles the road really, really well. It drives it ridiculously well. I've had this car now for two weeks and I've done over 500 miles in it. Shit, didn't realize that. <clears throat> 535 miles. Um, but those miles haven't been cheap. I have filled up twice. I probably now need to fill up again. Um, and I've spent over 200 pound on, on fuel. Um, the price of fuel is, is ridiculous, but you know this this car you enjoy you enjoy so much um, it's so so good you know you can't deny it the power is incredible exactly what you expect out of a BMW from an iDrive perspective very easy um, you've got a sports exhaust button here which is always on but I think you can only really tell the difference when you're in Sport Plus um, it's Tank left gives me a range of 96 miles. 
Let's see what I can get to before the end of this video. So third fill up since I've had it. Um, it is crazy. Such a crazy car. <clears throat> I think in the UK, we probably would have benefited more from a standard X5M, which I think has about 570 horsepower, rather than this one. You probably, that's probably a bit more usable. Sounds really stupid, but it probably is. Um, but nonetheless, this is a car that I really, really enjoy. Thoroughly enjoy it. Got a heated steering wheel, got rear blinds. Quality is, is fantastic. A year or so ago, I drove, no, maybe more than that now, maybe a year and a half to two years ago, I drove the x 6 when that came out. And I enjoyed that, but I'm not a fan of coupe SUVs. It's just a personal thing. This is the one. This is my choice. If I had the choice out of two, this is the one I'd go for. I think it looks better. I think it handles better. It's not as heavy. It doesn't feel as heavy as the X6 did. Um, this is the one I'd go for. Again, so I've never driven the Audi RS Q8. Um, you know, it's probably going to be similar on par with the with the KN Coupe I recently drove in Dubai. Um, I didn't film that. I was just a standard three liter petrol. Uh, and I was on holiday. I really did not want to do any filming when I was there, so I didn't. I'm hoping to have one of them. If I can get a Kane Turbo in the UK, it will come on the channel. I am talking to Porsche at the moment. Um, so yeah, let's see if that comes through. Absolutely sublimely. 
over here, my phone crashing, my keys crashing, but I'll tell you something, this is fantastic. Guys, I'm gonna go and enjoy this car even more. I'll be back soon with another video. Whether it's a V8, I don't know, it might be an electric car, it might be a standard diesel, I don't know, but loads of things coming up. Keep an eye on the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon. Bye for now.